Just waiting in line outside San Diego Stadium Sunday was an event in itself. Thousands of young people gathered in huge lines, waiting impatiently, and at times the crowds were yelling for the gates to open. Find some kind of crazy people. What brings you out here? What's, what's the excitement out here? Party. Music! Party! What do you think, man? All the weird people. <laughs> Have a good time. Sure the hell of it. Nothing better to do on a Saturday. Sunday, I mean. Security for the big rock concert was tripled, and for good reason. There was an abundance of alcohol, marijuana, and drugs. Police did nothing to stop that kind of activity in the parking lot, but once the gates opened, some arrests were made. In the first two hours of the concert, more than a dozen people had been arrested. People were not allowed to bring in cameras, cans, bottles, chairs, weapons, pets, and strangely enough, blankets and pillows into the stadium, so they were discarded along with hundreds of pounds of assorted trash. And inside the stadium, the crowd was going absolutely crazy over the deafening sounds of the heavy rock. Headlining the concert, Blue Oyster Cult, Pat Travers, UFO, and Cheap Trick. Promoters say the concert is a big smash, but city officials will hold off any opinion of whether future rock concerts will be allowed in the stadium. Jesse Macias, News 8, San Diego Stadium. Sunday's huge rock concert at the stadium will be remembered in a lot of different ways for a long time. The majority of the people at the concert just had a good time listening to hours of hard rock. For others, their memories of the concert will consist of spending time in custody due to being drunk, rowdy, or being caught with drugs. About 300 people will regret even going to the stadium as their cars were impounded for parking illegally in the parking lot. Police and security guards will remember the concert as one of the best, with relatively few arrests being made. Uh, during the day, there was a 93 total arrests. Uh, 63 of them were uh, adults, and they ranged everywhere from drunkenness up to possession of narcotics, and there was a couple of, or a few, excuse me, uh, felony arrests for possession for sale and one stabbing where we uh, took the suspect into custody. Overall, we were uh, considering the fact that there was 55,000 people there for a long period of time, fairly happy with the outcome of the event. But the ones who will not carry fond memories of the concert will be the ones who had to clean up the mess left behind by 55,000 screaming fans. Truckload after truckload of debris was hauled away from the stadium grounds and parking lot. Groundskeepers were especially irked when they saw the grass burns and torn turf as a result of the concert. Even a cigarette machine was thoroughly vandalized. But groundskeepers, being what they are, just rolled up their sleeves and promised the field would be in good playing condition for the next event at San Diego Stadium, which is a soccer game Wednesday night. Jesse Macias, News 8, San Diego Stadium.